can you walk me through all those runs you had last week? Are those design quarterback keepers? Are those plays where you're choosing what to do and you're just keeping it? Uh, how, how did all those unfold? Yeah, a lot of them were read plays, um, and they were keen on Deuce a lot. They were flying the linebackers out of the box, so we were just reading them, and, um, you know, it, it happened that I, you know, was taking the ball a lot, and, um, you know, our offensive line made, made some really good holes, and, um, you know, I, I've, I've found that, you know, you know, the run game might be a little more of my game now, and it, it wasn't as much in high school, but, um, I feel like I've gotten a little faster and feel more comfortable with it here. And, um, yeah, it's it's definitely a big part of this offense. And, um, you know, I was glad I was able to, you know, be able to do that in the running game. And, um, you know, it was just – yeah, it was a lot of uh, quarterback read plays. Was that a difficult transition at all? Like you mentioned, you didn't maybe run a whole bunch in high school. What's it, what's it like to go into a game now where you're carrying it that much? Uh, I mean, it's really not that different. At the end of the day, I kind of just try and look at it as it's, it's just football and it's what I, what I have to do. And, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's fun. I, I really like running the ball. I think it's, I think it's pretty fun. So, um, I, I've enjoyed, you know, doing that a little more at this level and, um, just trying to have fun with it and, uh, uh, trying to continue to get better at, at, at that part of my game. And I, I know it's probably not fun to look back and see the turnovers you've had the last two games. When, you, when you've talked with Coach Klein or Coach Kleiman, whoever it may be, what, what are the main things you guys are stressing in that, that area so that you can have maybe a, a cleaner game next week? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's just ball security. You've got to take care of the ball better. Um, there's no excuses for that. And um, I, there's really not much to say in that respect. I mean, it's kind of just, um, you know, being smart with the football and, and – ball security and we're going to continue to work on that and um, just continue to, um, you know, make, make throws. I've said, you know, don't, don't hold back, continue to sling it, but, you know, see in front of throws and, and, you know, just hold on to the football and yeah, no, definitely need to work on that. Um, I also did want to ask, uh, Chris Kleiman mentioned that Sammy Wheeler isn't going to be able to play anymore this season. How, how uh, much does that hurt just given that you did have the big connection with them there in the fourth quarter? He looked like he was maybe starting to come on. Yeah, no, Sammy's a heck of a player, and that'll be a, a big loss for us. And, um, you know, best wishes to him. I'll be, you know, trying to do what I can to help him. But, um, you know, it, it definitely is a tough loss. But at this point, you know, it is what it is. We've faced a lot of adversity already this year, and a lot of guys have already go, gone down. And, um, you know, I'm confident somebody will step up. And, um, like I said, you know, I, I, it's awful for, for Sammy. And, you know, a big loss for us, but, um, you know, I'm confident some other guys will step up in his spot. All right. Thanks, Will. No problem. Darren? Well, how do you think you've evolved since the the young player who stepped in when Skyler went down to now where this team is yours and, you know, you're making the decisions, you're evolving as a quarterback, you were just talking about how you're running more. Um, how do you think that's – I mean, are you, you feel like it's going by leaps and bounds or baby steps? How do you feel that's going? Um, I, I mean, you could look at it in a, a bunch of different ways. I feel like in some ways it's leaps and bounds because, you know, you're kind of thrown into the fire and you kind of have to learn as you go. But at the same time, it's baby steps. And, and there's a lot of learning experiences that you have to go through and, you know, a lot of tough times that you have to go through to, to grow in, in, in your – you know, in, in the, the journey that, that I'm on right now and that we're on as a team. and. Um, but I feel like as we as we've gone along, the game's definitely slowed down for me a little mm -hmm. bit, and I feel more comfortable um, every every game. And um, you know, we're, and I feel like the offense we're starting to mesh, you know, even more, and you know, continuing to try and get better with them, and just um, you know, try try to be the best leader I can for these guys. And obviously, because Skyler was a you know great leader and and a, you know captain on this football team, and um, I'm trying to do my best to to you know. Um, step in and you know I don't want to be you know I, they've you know a lot of people have told me you know don't be Skyler be yourself but at the same time you know I gotta you know step in and because you know there's big shoes to fill you know Skyler's a, a great player and a great guy and he's helped me a bunch with it but you know just continuing to um, make those make those uh, take those learning experiences and apply them into practice and games. That leads me to my next question about how has Skyler helped you? I mean, obviously, right now he's kind of that player coach 
because he can't play, but he wants to be involved. Is there any like thing he's really helped you see that, you know, maybe the coaching staff taught, but he can help you actually see it? Yeah, he, he's helped me a bunch. He, you know, having him on the field in practice is, you know, basically like another coach that'll, you know, kind of give me his insight on what he's seeing and, and being able to go up and watch film with him and, um, and coach Kleiman has, has helped a lot. And, you know, even, even just with off the field stuff, you know, even like after a tough game at West Virginia, you know, he was, he was there to tell me, you know, he's been there and, and trying to, you know, just be a good guy and pick me up. And, um, you know, he's, he's done a great job of that. And, you know, trying to help me, help me through, you know, all these, all these uh, obstacles that, you know, I'm having to face and, and, you know, trying to just keep me level-headed. And he, he's done a great job of that and be, just being there for me. And, you know, I really appreciate that. And lastly, um, Coach talked about this. I asked Deuce about it. You're a young player, but you're a starter and, and you know, you're out there playing, but there's a lot of young players who are in quarantine right now. How can you get everybody on board to where, you know, because Coach was saying how difficult it is to have so many guys in quarantine because he doesn't even have a scout team. So how can you help get that message across to some of your teammates who are pretty much your age that this is serious. You guys can be great, but you know, everybody's got to buckle down a little bit. How do you, how do you do that? I mean, it, it's tough. You know, you got to, you know, we've been, I feel like we have pretty good protocols here and we, you know, we've been trying to do what we can to, um, you know, keep, keep the spread of the virus from happening. And I feel like we've done a decent job of that, but um, you know, it, it's tough and it's going to happen. And, and we just have to continue to stress the fact that, you know, we have to have priorities and, you know, we can't be, you know, can't be jeopardizing the team at all. And we have to, um, you know, put the team's best interest in, in mind and, um, you know, and just continue to do that for the rest of the season. And, and um, you know, hopefully, you know, obviously we, we've always said this, you know, this COVID thing is, is tough. It, it's tough for everybody, but it's, you know, everybody's going through it and we have to, you know, hunker down and, and uh, have, have our priorities straight and not, you know, jeopardize the team and, and put the team first. And, you know, that's, we just continue to try and stress that. And, um, you know, things will happen and then there's some freak things that will happen. But um, at the end of the day, if we just keep, keep our best interests in mind, we'll be, we'll be all right. Thanks, Will. Thank you. John? Yeah, Will, how much did you do in terms of like design quarterback runs and quarterback run game in, in high school? And, and did you anticipate running the ball as much as you have already this this point in your K-State career? Uh, I knew, you know, they, they told me coming in that, um, you know, running the ball was definitely going to be a, a big part of the, you know, the game here. And um, it's, it's a part of the offense and a lot of it's, you know, option game design quarterback runs. I didn't do as many design. I mean, actually, I, I did a, a decent amount last year. I didn't like early in my high school career did more of it last year, you know, on like third down and short and, you know, kind of critical fourth downs and stuff. They like to just, you know, run some like quarterback powers and stuff. And we, we actually ran a fair amount of option last year, um, a little more than more than usual. And so that that I'd say got me ready for, for this. And so, I mean, I've, I've run the option before I've done it, but obviously it's a different level. And, um, you know, having having guys around me that, that can make plays like they do and um, you know, being able to hand the ball off to guys like Deuce and Phil and everybody. It's just, um, it's a different different type of game. And, um, you know, just continue to try to do my part in terms of that and trying to, you know, get, get better running the ball and, and more comfortable with it. And I feel like um, I'll, I'll continue to do that. And, um, but yeah, like I said, it's just, it's a part of this offense. And, you know, I, uh, it's, it's, it's something that's that's going to be asked of me and asked of all quarterbacks in this offense. So, um, you know, I'm ready to to accept that challenge. Do you feel like people underestimate your speed, like defenders or anybody out there? I mean, yeah, I, I'd say, you know, I, I I wouldn't be, you know, you look at me, I'm longer, taller. You probably don't think I'm the fastest fastest guy on the field. I'm, uh, but you know, I feel like once I can get out in space, I, you know, my my long strides will take care of themselves. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be. And, um, you know, I, I uh, want to continue to keep working on my speed and, 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 you know, continue to get faster throughout, throughout this year and throughout my career.